guys. So I thought that um, I would shoot a little video vlog style again because I really wanted to do um, a podcast, but this week just got a little busier than I thought it was going to. Um, so I just haven't had time to sit down and film one. So I thought I would kind of do one maybe vlog style. Um, I know not everybody likes this uh, this way of doing it. I know sometimes it can make people a little like queasy. Um, so I'm going to try and just be a little bit steady with my hand and maybe um, like not do any like car ride um, video or anything like that. So um, let me know what you guys think if this doesn't, I don't want to make anybody sick. Um, but I just didn't think I'd be able to get a podcast out for a little bit. So I thought I'd kind of try it this way um, and just kind of take you guys, uh, take you guys on the road with me, <laughs> so to speak, even though it's just running errands. But um yeah, it's been a pretty busy week. I took some time off for my birthday, which was on, my birthday was on Monday, which was Memorial Day, and um, that was a crazy busy day, but it was so much fun. It was so much fun. And um, today, uh, I'm just doing a lot of uh, running around, getting stuff done. I have to pick up dog food um, and just some other things at Walmart. Um, I have to go get an allergy shot. I'm really behind on those. Um, but I brought my knitting um, for my allergy shot because I have to sit there and wait for a little while. Um, yeah, I've also got an order I got to drop off um, at the post office. And yeah, um, I'm also going to be dyeing some yarn soon. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it today, but I will bring you guys along um, when I do that. And we'll, we'll catch up then too. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I got all my shopping done. Um, I just got my allergy shot done, so I'm glad that's over with. Um, I have to usually I go once a month, but I was a little late on getting this one done, so I have to go back and at least um, I have to wait at least three days. Then I can go back and get another one, and then I should be able to wait a month. Um, but man, I needed it. My allergies were kicking me so bad lately, so I was really happy to go get that done. Um, I was going to take a picture, um, of what I was working on in the waiting room, um, on my, my knitting. Um, but it was so busy in there. It was just, uh, I just didn't really want to break out the phone. So I figured I'd show you guys right here what I'm working on. It is my vintage prim by Andrea Mowry. And so, yeah, this is what I've got going. There's the garter spot and it's just, this is such a fun knit. Oh, it's so cool to see. It's fun to see this in the camera, how it's knitting up. But um, I'm really, really loving this. And it's going a lot quicker than I expected. I've been really working on it the last couple of days. And you can see um, where my little marker is. That's where I was. Ooh, let's try to scan. There we go. That's where I was last time I showed it on the podcast. And I probably was maybe like two rows ahead of that. Um, a couple, Maybe like four rows ahead of that when I picked it up um, the other day. So I've really, really gone far on this. And this is not as hard as it looks. If you can do regular brioche, like a basic brioche, like how that is on the ribbing, with no increases or decreases, you can do this. It just takes a little bit of concentration. You probably, um, you know, don't want to be distracted. You don't, you could probably do it while you're watching TV as long as you're not like really invested in the show. Um, but I just keep the the notes with me and the chart and I also just refer back to um the YouTube videos uh by the unapologetic knitter that's how I've been learning how to do the increases and decreases and it's not bad at all um the yarn I'm using this really pretty sparkly blue is Countess of Blaze um this is Big Fish in a Little Pond I think is what it's called I can't remember now and I'm also using my hand dyed yarn and this is um, baby it's cold outside and so it's just basically white with a little bit of um, blue specks throughout so yeah I'm really really loving this like I've been really working on this the past couple of days and I love it I also want to share a tip with you guys um, I don't want to show you the pattern long but because this is a paid for pattern but just to kind of show you a trick that I've done um, when it comes to charts. And I know 
you've probably heard this, um, but in case you haven't heard of this trick, it's really, really helped me out. It's nothing new. I did not come up with this, but um, you can see how I highlighted that, and that's all I'm going to show, <laughs> but um, where I highlighted those spots, those are all where I'm doing an increase or a decrease, and I also highlighted, um, like in the legend, I highlighted it with the same color, so it makes it really easy to know when I have to decrease or when I have to increase and what I have to do. It just so you don't lose track of where you're at. Um, but it's just a really, really, really helpful tip. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm knitting on. That's what I've been knitting on the past couple of days. I've got some other stuff at home. I'll show you guys probably later. Like I said, this is like a deconstructed podcast is kind of what I'm doing. <laughs> um, just because I, I just don't have enough time to sit down and, and record a full one. So it's just going to be kind of jumbled up, but I figure we'll get there eventually. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to head over to the post office. Got an order to drop off. I don't know if you guys have seen this. I now have pink bags. Oh, they just make me really happy. So um, if you order from, from my shop, you'll get it in a pink bag most likely. They're just too fun. So, but yeah, uh, I'm going to go drop that off. Then I'm going to go home and I'll show you guys what else I'm working on. Hey everyone, so I'm back from running errands and I thought I would show you guys what I've been working on, what I have finished, and first I thought I'd start out with my Madewell cardigan that I'm wearing. And I am so happy to have this done. I cast this on last July and I love it. It has not been washed and blocked yet, but I've been wearing it like every single day and it, it I would like to block it, but it like really, I mean you can tell it kind of stretched out a little bit, but um. I'm really, really happy with it, like a lot. So, yeah, I love it. And this is yarn that I dyed, um, which I will be have be having in the shop um, once I can get to do some yarn dyeing. Um, but I will have this colorway, so if anybody's interested, it will be available. Um, so yeah, I'll show you guys what else I've been working on. Um, and yeah, I I really, really loved knitting this. I wanted it like a million more of these. It's a great, um, great like wardrobe staple. I love it, and it's so soft, so comfortable. So happy with it. So very glad it's done. I just need to take an FO picture once I block it. So, but yeah, I will show you guys what I'm working on. So before I finished, before I finished my Madewell cardigan, I finished these socks, which I also cast on last July, and these are from Mint Rain Hand Dye Yarns, which is Caitlin. And they are the Spring Dreams um, colorway, which I believe was a club colorway, but I'm sure if you wanted this colorway that she would dye it up for you, just have to ask. Um, obviously, I'm not speaking for her, but I'm sure she would um, be willing just to make sure to ask. But yeah, um, the heels are Knit Pick Stroll, and I'm just so happy with how those yellows matched. It just really, really, really made me happy. You can't even tell. Um... So yeah, and they fit like a dream. This is on her tough sock base, and I use mostly 9-inch circular needles to knit it. Um, I did a 1 by one twisted rib fish lips kiss heel on 64 stitch count, and the toe I used um, from Hermione's Everyday Socks. And that's the way. That was the other FO I had. Um, the other thing that I finished is my spinning. I have not taken a picture of this yet, and I don't know why, but I need to do it. I am so happy with how this turned out. This is Three Waters Farm, and this Watercolor Town was the colorway. And it is, um, I think it's Merino and Tessa Silk. I am so happy with this. I want to see if I can get it to get a close-up. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I love it. And I did this in a, I believe it's called a Fractal 2-ply. And so it, it creates all of this barber pulling. And I just really, really love it. I got about 392 yards out of it um, for 100 grams. And yeah, I cannot wait to knit with this. I'm not sure what I'm going to knit with it. I'm super tempted to just knit socks with it, even though I probably shouldn't. But I just really like knitting socks with hand spun. <laughs> so yeah, love that. Um... I showed you guys the vintage prim. Okay, so another new cast on that I have are these socks, and these are going to be for Ethan. 
um, even though they've got like some pink in it. He said he didn't mind. I basically, this was a stain that I dyed that, um, I just, I wasn't quite happy with. It was, uh, like a happy accident, which is like one of a kind, um, that I have in my shop. And I just, I couldn't get it to stop bleeding. So I didn't want to sell it. And, um, so I, I just decided that I would keep it. I have Benny Fur on here. Um, so I just decided that I would keep it. I wasn't quite sure what I was going to make with it. And he was like, I'll take some socks out of it. He didn't, he didn't care. He loves my hand knit socks. He's very knit worthy. And so I was like, okay, cool. So he just likes to wear them around the house anyways. He didn't care if there was pink in it or not. And, uh, honestly, I think they're knitting up super cool. So we're both pretty, pretty happy with them. Um, but as you can see, I'm knitting on nine inch circulars, um, from Chiao Gu. And yeah, this was, I was really happy with how this turned out. This is what it looks like in the cake, which even with looking at it in the cake, it's not what I would expect, um, how it knits up. So pretty happy with that. So those are for Ethan. Um, those are probably going to be some slow rolling socks for a while since I have so many projects. Um, something else that I'm knitting on is the sock blank. This is my first ever sock blank. And I am loving it. This is from Nitty and Color, um, which she's Nitty and Color on Etsy. And it's just so much fun. Oh my gosh, I love it. So this was my birthday cast on, which I just cast these on Mondays. Um, like I said, that was Memorial Day was my birthday. And um, I just knit on this all day. So, and today is, um, today's Wednesday, the 31st. And it was just so much fun. I just, oh, I love it. The crinkliness does not even bother me. And actually, I think it's straightened out fairly well um, as I've knit with it. So I don't know if I'm going to have a tighter gauge or not, but I'm I'm really happy with it. It's so much fun. It's super addicting. So really happy with that. Um, and this is size one U.S. needles, um, two by two rib, and I'm just knitting stocking up. Um, other project I've got is my Find Your Fade, which this has grown quite a bit. If you guys saw my vlog um, where we went to Frankenmuth, where my mom and I went to Frankenmuth, I was working on this in the car, and I've been really working on this a lot lately. I love it. But I feel like this is going to take forever. So this little keeper, progress keeper is where I was at last time. And yes, I've gotten quite a bit done, especially with finishing a cardigan, casting on all these new projects and spinning. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with my progress. Actually, usually I'm not too happy with my progress, but, um, so I've got starting down here. This is, um, baby it's cold outside, which is my hand dyed yarn as well as uh, blueberry crumb cake, which there are um, two skeins of this in the shop right now. And it's on my sturdy sock base, which is the new one. Um, and I'm really, this is not the sturdy sock base. This is the old soft sock base. But I really, really am happy with the sturdy sock base. And I've also um, heard from quite a few customers that they really are liking how it's holding up and how it knits. So very, very happy to hear that. This colorway is um, Knox Yarn Company in the Reverie colorway, and it's glittery, if you can see that. It's got some Selena in it. And then this up here, which I'm super happy with this transition. It's really hard to see, um, at least in here. It's not as like obvious as down here. Um, this is uh, Blue Cookie Yarns, and she's Blue Cookie Yarns on Etsy. So yeah, super happy with that. Um, I just, I, after getting my cardigan done, I was really happy that to get like a big project off the needles. Then I started working on this one, um, pretty monogamously, but then, you know, you kind of hit a wall because you know, it's going to take forever to get done. So that's why I've kind of switched over to the hat, hoping that maybe getting something done that's smaller, you know, will kind of, I don't know, make me feel better, make me feel like I'm accompl accomplishing more. So yeah. Um, so that's my Find Your Fade. And I also got this sweet, sweet, sweet package from Sarah, who is Sarah Shepherdess on, um, on Instagram. 
and she had the Dabbling Shepherdess podcast, and which I'm so sad has ended, but I totally understand, totally understand, Sarah. Um, but she sent me these. We have the same birthday, so we are we are birthday twins, and we did a little swap. So she sent me some of Susan B. Anderson's yarn, which is Barrett Wool Company, and I was so excited, so excited to get this. I love it. So that's probably going to be some mittens. And then she sent me this alpaca socks yarn, which I thought was so sweet. It's super soft, super squishy. And I can't wait to knit some socks with that. And she sent me some sweet little flamingo um, paper clips and a little notepad. I love that. A little notebook. A very sweet card. And this little bag, this little bag has some teas in it and some uh, hot cocoa. And then this sweet little bag, oh, I love this. It was tied up much nicer before I got into it. Um, which, if you can see, this is like hand spun yarn. And then in here, oops, sorry. <laughs> Put my finger right in front of the camera, awesome. Oh my gosh, I keep doing it. Um, she <laughs> got me some minis for my blankets dump those out. Oh, love it. Love them. Thank you so much, Sarah. That was such a sweet package. Oh, I need to get back on my Cozy Memories blanket. I've done like a couple squares, but I didn't bring those. Or I didn't bring that out, but. Okay, so I've also got some acquisitions. So like I said, it was birthday month. So, first thing I got was some Fiber, which I actually bought these a little bit ago, but I decided to wait and open them on my birthday because why not? Um, so this is uh, Three Waters Farm again, and it is uh, Frosted Daybreak, and it's Merino Bamboo and Silk. And I am so excited to spin this. I love the color. No idea what I'm going to like make with it, but honestly, the color is what sold me. I just loved it, and I figured I'd figure out what to make with it later. <laughs> and something else that I bought is my first skein of Sweet Sparrow Yarns. And this is in the Sansa colorway. Oh my gosh. And it's on Tweed, which is her house run base. Oh my gosh. I love this. This is going to be, I'm thinking, some fall socks. Especially with the Tweed. I just love this. So very, very happy with this. Her there's her tag, and that's Julie. Oh, look at it. It's so pretty. So, yeah. So, those are all my goodies. Um, I will probably film some more um, maybe in the next couple of days, and then I'll do put the vlog together. Um, tomorrow, I am seeing my best friend, Stephanie, who she lives in Wisconsin, so she's visiting. Um, she's up here visiting for a wedding. So I'm so excited to see her. And um, so maybe I'll take a little bit of video of that or some pictures or something. But um, And then, yeah, I'm hoping to do some yarn dyeing at some point. Um, if I don't do it tomorrow morning, I'll probably do it on my next couple of days off, which is um, Monday and Tuesday. So not making any promises, but I really want to do some more yarn dyeing. I really miss it. Um, like I said, it's just been really, it's been a busy, busy month. So, um, but yeah, I just, I always try to make sure that I don't, pressure myself into doing the yarn dyeing because it's supposed to be fun. I don't ever want to feel like that stressed out feeling when I'm dying because I've done that before and it does not turn out right at all. It does not look good and I'm not happy with it and I don't want to put, you know, bad feelings and bad memories into the yarn. So, um, I can show you guys what I've got in the shop if you want to see that. Um, but other than that, there, um, should be some new stuff coming. I've got Nymphadora Tonks coming and, um, and then I've got, um, a few, uh, heavy accident skeins, which I'm actually really excited. They're, they're super cute. I might, I might not make them happy accents. I might actually, um, cause I know exactly what I did. They just didn't turn out the way I wanted them to, but, um, I might make them a colorway. We'll see, but I'll show you guys. Um, I'll show you the happy accent skeins later, but I'll show you what I got in the shop right now. So these are the goodies that are currently in the shop. I've got a couple skeins of Atop the Ferris Wheel, which does have some um, 
pinks and purples in them and a little bit of orange but I just love this this is going into my fade I'm so excited here's um, the other skeins these are on my sturdy sack base which is the 7525 superwash merino and nylon and then I've got one skein left of party poodles which this just cracks me up I have so much fun naming these it's so much fun sometimes I take like forever to name a colorway but I love it um, so this is blueberry crumb cake this is one of the first colorways I ever dyed and here's another skein of blueberry crumb cake and I've got one skein left of happy little narwhal speckles turned out really fun and I've got two skeins of life is the bubbles I need to work on mine I have um, a pair of socks that I'm knitting the mercury sock pattern out of in this colorway and I love it here's the other skein and then I've got a mulberry jam which is this is the last skein of the soft sock base and this is just like a tonal tonal mulberry color so yeah I feel like this would look really pretty in like um like a lacy sock or even the sock head hat I think this would be really cool also like a cardigan <laughs> but not with one skein obviously so yeah that's what's in the shop and um which that's the the woolen homestead .com if you um if you didn't know about my my yarn shop so ella just wanted to come on and say hi no she didn't i'm making her <laughs> look at that face oh she's so mad at me she was sleeping and i woke her up <laughs> she doesn't want to do this at all you're so goofy. You're so goofy. Where are you going, huh? Where are you going? <laughs> oh, big stretch. So, yes, thank you guys um, for um, watching this kind of like a deconstructed video. Um, like I said, I'm probably going to put some more um, in before I, before I put this up on YouTube. But let me know what you guys think. Um, I know this isn't my usual, but it was just kind of nice to be able to talk to you guys since I haven't done it um, in a couple of weeks. Any time that I thought I would be able to podcast, I wasn't able to. So, um, oh, I also wanted to mention that the podcast is turning one on, I believe it's June 2nd. Or is it tomorrow? Oh, I think it's tomorrow. I think it's June 1st, actually. I'll have to go back and double check. Um, but so this channel, if you don't know, started out as Knitting from the Mitten. And um, I then changed it at the beginning of the year to the Woolen Homestead to kind of match my business. But yeah, so um, this channel is going to be a year old, um, like I said, in the next couple of days. And I just think that's kind of exciting. I'm so thankful for you guys. Um, I've just I met so many friends through this channel, and it's just so much fun. So even though I can't do like a normal podcast all the time, um, it's nice to be able to at least do. Okay, sorry, my camera cut off. Um, but what I was saying was even though um, I can't do like a regular weekly podcast, um, I appreciate you guys still, you know, coming and checking me out and um, seeing what I'm up to and I just really appreciate you guys. So I hope you all are well and um, like I said, I'm going to try and get some more footage um, before I put this up. Um, so yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Music